So we'll be here in uh, La Habra, California at Checkmat Academy, Leo Bureau's Academy, and uh, where Lucas trains. So I'm um, just going to get Lucas' opinion and, and uh, also ask him how he first started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and what motivated him to get in and um, you know what he does now, which is do seminars along with Teach Here and how he thinks it either helps other people and how it helps himself to just teach all together. So um, Lucas, uh, how'd you get into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? So I entered in Jiu-Jitsu, I started in Jiu-Jitsu when I had uh, 13 years old in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I entered because you know, I'm in the school and many kids doing jiu-jitsu in Brazil, you know, we, we only do jiu-jitsu and soccer in Brazil. Then if I don't do two, the guy's gonna kick my ass in the, in the college, the school and in the streets. Then I saw, I started with some kung fu first, because <laughs> I like Bruce Lee. But then the guys in school put me, give me take down and get my arm lock and say, no, I'm gonna Entered in these two, and then I started Jiu Jitsu and don't stop until now. So it was basically self defense is what got him into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and um, now I mean he's a, a black belt, he traveled all over the world. I've seen his passport, I mean, been to what, Swiss, right? Switzerland, and Swiss? Poland, Poland, Germany. Germany. And then um, where else have you been? Poland, Germany, Holland, and Sweden. You know, and it all started with self defense, so I mean, it has something to say with the sport altogether. It's not really just about, you know, brute fighting or anything like that. It's it's a, it's, it's a sport and it's a, it's a form of art, you know, and um, it, it takes a lot for somebody to have a dedication, you know, how long have you been training with 13? Since you were 13 years yeah, old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now since I was 26. 26 years old and he's been training since he was 13, so I mean, has a, what, two Mundial Championships or one Mundial Championship? Yeah, I have one in the brown and another in the black belt, 2007, and, and then, then two weeks ago I took third in the world. In the world, so I mean... That, that goes to say a lot, I mean, those are the biggest tournaments that we can, that are held anywhere, so um, as far as seminars, how do you think they help you, you know, learn as long as, you know, as well as help everybody else that's learning in your seminars, how do you think you learn from teaching? I think when you travel for teaching, always you, you learn it too, you know, because you want to solve different people, different martial arts. When I, when I went in Europe for, for teaching Jiu Jitsu, I learned wrestling, I learned Greco, I learned in kickboxing, you know, when I went to Hawaii for help BJ, I learned box, kickbox, and also I, I teach too, and I think he, always when you travel and train with different people, different kinds of techniques, it's good for your jiu-jitsu skills and your mixed martial arts skills, martial arts skills, you know, I think he always when you, you, you're gonna, how to say, explore more the map, martial arts in the world, you're gonna learn a lot. And also when you teach, you start to remember all positions. Many people say for me when I left Brazil, ah, Lucas, you're gonna left the good training, blah, 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 you're gonna lose in the championships. Uh, and when I come in here, I, I find some partners. Of course, I have some friends for training for the big tournaments, but I teach a lot, almost all day. And this makes me, I always uh, review some position, review techniques, the student making me question, I need to think about that. And I think your jiu-jitsu grow when you teach too. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. As far as uh, anybody else that's trying to get into jiu-jitsu or maybe um, you know, be discouraged from getting into jiu-jitsu because they've never done it before, what's advice you can give them for newcomers? I think it don't matter how you are wage, uh, you, you can start jiu-jitsu you know, because it's a simple martial arts. It's very have a lot of techniques. It's difficult to you learn everything. You never learn everything, but it's easy to learn in the same time. Like I can teach for you two, three moves, moves, and you can do in your friends this night if if your friends don't know these moves. You understand? Like it's, it's easy to learn, you know, and you still learn for many many years. I think, he, and also. Uh, it's good for you. You respect more your friends because you know you have. You need to be careful with your body and your partner's body in the training. Uh, I think it's very good for the kids. For the kids start learning how you lose, how you tap. When you tap, this means more than only you give up. You know, sometimes this make you don't have too much ego because who doing jiu jitsu? No. Anybody can be uh, invincible, you know, always you can be, the guys can submit you, you know, and this is good for your life, you know. 
Sometimes you fall, you need to stand up again. Sometimes the guy tap you. And also, always when this happens, is the next day you're gonna come in better than than you only you only smash the people. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And I think it, for everybody it's good. Good stuff. So I mean, I haven't seen Lucas in, since January. So it's been about five months. He was staying over there in Hilo with us for about two or three months, and it was <laughs> I good miss time. You a lot. <laughs> Very Hilo's, good place yeah, so. for me. So I mean, um, thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for having me, and thanks for uh, you know Leo and all the other guys that had me here. So um, appreciate everybody else that was training. If you guys want to give them a hand for. <laughs>